All right, hello and welcome to another video. Um, it's been a while. This is the Me Plus You Is Us podcast. Yes. I was going to say vlog. Podcast. Podcast, yes. Yeah. So you can either listen or you can look or you can do both. Or you can do both, yeah. And we're going to do a part two of our... Counseling, marriage, yeah, marriage counseling, counseling. Scenarios. Yes. Yeah. So should we give some context or people will know? The previous context was given. So if you haven't seen our previous video, then check out our previous, literally our previous video. Yes. And then you understand where we're coming from. This is yes. the part two of it. Part two, yeah. So let's dive into Wait, it. Is that wearing the same shirt? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, we don't go. have a wardrobe for YouTube now. People know it. It's yeah. not a secret. Let's anyway. just go. Let's just okay, go. great. Um, let me read the scenario first. Consider a couple who have been married for a long time and have settled into a comfortable rut routine. Mm -hmm. However, the husband realized that his commitment to the growth and development of the marriage has waned and he has become complacent. Okay. Com yes. Reflect on your own level of commitment and actively investing in the relationship to ensure its long-term success, drawing from this couple's story and exploring ways to reunite passion and growth within your own marriage. So the question is, are you truly committed to the growth and development of your marriage? How do you actively invest in the relationship to ensure its long-term success? Hmm. Hmm. Are we <laughs> truly invested in the growth and success of this marriage? You tell me. No. <laughs> I don't think so. Really? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. I think we are, but um, is the question asking us what we're doing in terms of that yes i think to reflect on it and for me what i find interesting is what i think everybody would have a different definition of success yeah definitely so f for me can i reflect on that or you yes, want to go you can. Yeah, please. so for me one big part of success of a marriage is that you support each other in the ter uh, in i want to say long term but it can be any goal yeah uh, in the goals you have for yourself personally yeah. and also support each other in the common goals you have or maybe for the, for the how you see you. a family. I want to support you in that we get there. Yeah. But also, I really appreciate that um, and I've also said that a lot, not a lot, but I've mentioned it f to you from time to time that um, there's a certain peace in the marriage. Yeah. I'm I'm not saying we never have arguments. We do have we do. arguments, yeah. Yeah, and we have misunderstanding and we're just normal people who clash from time to time. But, for example, in my career, I am at this stage in my career because of Kwame. Because there's peace at home. So whatever I'm building outside, whenever I leave the house, or of course, sometimes there are emergencies, sometimes there's things that you need to resolve. But yeah. generally, like 90% of the time, I know we're good. And that allows me to focus on the other goals I have outside of building my family and outside of uh, um, the home life that yeah. we have. And for me, that's one of the things <laughs> I was laughing at, at our baby. I'm looking at our boss. Um, that's one of the things I really appreciate and I think we are both invested in to really talk things through and yeah. I think that we do very actively. Yeah. yeah. But what do you see? Would you see as success? I think we, we are quite successful in our marriage because um, we tend to, yeah, uh, prioritize um, communication mm -hmm. and talking through things in order to have proper understanding and grow. And also, like you said, with um, being excited for the other person's mm -hmm. uh, personal, professional, yeah. emotional growth. And when they do share it, there's almost always a plan and a role that the other person has to play, even if it's yeah. just making sure that, like for you, there's peace at home, that you feel quite comfortable knowing that when you leave for work, Mm -hmm. everything is fine at home and when you're coming home you're looking forward to coming home yeah 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 so i think we actually do that quite well and i'm happy that it's um uh, it's something that we started even before we became like uh three people or a family yeah uh, something that we were building consciously 
over yeah. time in our dating and in our cohabiting and now having a full uh, mm -hmm. But do you, do you feel the same that there's peace at home and that makes you of course be peace able at home. to yeah there's peace at home but does I'm, it help you in in the goals you I'm, said yeah I'm able to freelance mm -hmm. and everybody who's a freelancer knows that it's not the easiest thing to do mm -hmm. but at least I know for example uh, one of us has a stable income yeah and that allows me to do the things I want to do in the mm -hmm. way that I want to do it um. I also know that when I'm home with Eli, like I, I feel I feel comfortable. This is the thing I'm trying to say. Yeah. I feel comfortable. I don't feel um, uh, the pressure that most men in conventional or traditional marriages would feel to uh, take up everything upon themselves and not mm -hmm. really speak up about. I don't. I don't have that, you know, mental weight. If I should yeah, put it that way. but you still do a lot of things for the house, like no, no, I do, but you, I'm just saying do, that it's not yeah. in the same vein as it being only me. Yeah, 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 yeah. We divide. Yes, we yeah. definitely divide. It's it's not it's not about me. It's not about only me being responsible for something and only me yeah. thinking about you know. So I'm able to. Yeah, we divide that as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm happy to hear that. That yeah. you feel that way. Anything we you think we can invest more in or maybe at this i mean we're in a whole new <laughs> phase of life so maybe there are still things that we could work on i mean with the little one around things changed a bit um at the moment uh, i'm not sure because we're still figuring out what it means to be three yeah that's definitely true so i'm not sure i think we're do what well, maybe what we can do better is 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 the personal uh, responsibility towards the whole new unit, and it comes up uh, sometimes. But being kind to ourselves that it's fresh, it's yeah. completely new. It has nothing to do with uh, we've not done it before, so you don't have like the ability to do it better, or you could have known or anything. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So, so our. Um, we are very ambitious in general. Like yeah. they just want to get a hang of it immediately. And yeah. sometimes that's not the best because, yeah. So trying to be kind to ourselves and being like gracious with ourselves <laughs> as well. Yes. Yeah. Our boss is here. If you yes. hear him. Then. Yeah. And we're alone in the house. There's no yes. help. So. I, I think that that actually, this is actually a good one because I think that we are doing great with the three of us and yeah. we're all managing like a lot because we uh, we both have our our work and we are outside of being a partner we're also our people our yeah we're, we have friends we we have family uh extended family and it's i think it would help if we get a bit more help so that yeah. you also have because i mean i'm also I'm not, my work is not as creative, but you, your work is, you, you are a creative. creative that yeah. is what, and you need certain space to explore I mean, yeah. the creativity. And I think now, because it's so packed, like there's little time, right, left. Yeah. So I think we, we can, how we can invest explore, a little yeah, or explore is if uh, we can get some outside help. Um, I mean, Grammy's mom has been amazing with coming back and forth and um, from where she lives to here. And but it's 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 also good to yeah to to give ourselves that breathing space. And yeah, I mean it. Yeah, we will have to in literally invest in that because you will have to pay the person. But at least you can think much clearer. I think. Yeah. So maybe that one. Yeah, I think. Yeah, for yeah, that's I know it's that's a sensitive one for you for you because you don't like <laughs> outside people, but yeah, I do have a, a really um, you know touchy feeling about external help, but I think I, it's something I, we have really have to consider. And yeah, I'm giving in slowly. I'm not saying like a five days a week thing. Like even it, it just the fact that you would be able be able to edit for maybe two hours in one go. Because now you have to admit it's not possible. Yeah. So and and it's not anybody's fault. It's just a situation. Like I'm not blaming the baby or anything, but it's like 
I think that breeding space would maybe help us also be better partners again because you have a bit more headspace. Yeah. Instead of going from one thing to the other. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> that multitasking is a lot. I agree. Yeah. But okay. Um do you think you'll manage or should we take a small break? Um let's go till it becomes full bloom. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I think we have one more scenario to go. Then let's do it. Let's do it. Hey Eli. Hey Eli. Hey Eli. We're gonna be done soon, okay? Okay, we're gonna be done soon. Okay, um, imagine a couple where one spouse has experienced a traumatic event in the past, such as childhood abuse or significant loss. Despite the passage of time, the unresolved trauma continues to impact their marriage, causing difficulties hey. in trust, intimacy, and emotional connection. Reflect on whether there are many unresolved whether there are any unresolved past issues or traumas in your own marriage and consider how you can seek healing and address these issues together drawing from the experience of this couple so the question is are there any unresolved past issues or traumas that continue to impact your marriage how do you plan to seek healing and address these issues together hey <laughs> heavy yeah do we wanna do we wanna dive into this? Well, maybe we <laughs> we don't have to go into. <laughs> I don't think Eli wants us to go into it. No, but I mean we don't have to go into details. I I don't think it's maybe fitting for YouTube to dry, dive into your traumatic um, experiences. But I do have to say that I think we are well aware of where we've been and where we're going yes and like any experiences that have been significant we kind of know right yeah or i feel that yeah we're well aware of it yeah and we have been dealing with it um in a, in a, i mean behind the scenes whatever we talk about it a lot um none of the things thankfully um have been hidden or have been like blocked not nobody has blocked the other partner from you know because some of these things were too glaring for you to hide and because we're both very uh, analytical and we see and we watch how things unfold mm -hmm. we often ask these questions and we've been able to get the other person to speak about some of these things um i think my biggest example would be uh my relationship with my father and how the whole fatherhood thing would be for me mm -hmm. and even using uh, my creative medium such as film to write jokes and shoot the film and do a talk session with people and you know yeah so it's something that we are well aware of and are using the knowledge we have and you know the therapy of both of us and even professionals that we've seen or talked to to yeah. grow with and it's it's gonna it's gonna be a constant recurring thing because uh, you're always I mean, healing. Like you're never yeah, done. I you mean, you never say that I'm yeah. done. Done. It will creep up at some point. Yeah. And I think it's something that we're doing well with. Yeah, and I think we're also pretty open to discussing our mental health. And I think because we know we've known each other now for about eight years or more. And eight years. <laughs> and there have been transitions throughout that period. Like Kwame moved, for example, a major one from like corporate to freelance. And in order to make that move, like his mental health and how the job affected it was <laughs> like pretty a big part of that. Yeah. And um, at the time you, you also needed some professional help with that and I was also involved in that and we discussed that and yeah. I think yeah we felt comfortable with Doing it this, yeah, yeah together and also like even with me I mean there have been some uh, in my family some health issues in the past couple of years so the family dimension has been explored uh, thor thoroughly yeah. <laughs> and also how <laughs> we deal with 
difficult times. I think he was be on camera. Yeah, I guess. He wants his own his own YouTube channel. Yeah. Anyway, um, and I also think that we're pretty good at expressing what we need. So how do we take care of ourselves? Like for you, you like to sometimes indulge in like new things to learn, like film stuff and just like be in your bubble yeah. and then recharge as you do that. For me, it's more like movement. So walks outside, yoga, writing. meeting with friends, writing. And I think that on itself are small parts of healing. Yeah. So we're, we're getting there. Yeah. I'm not saying we're like... And I think we're also lucky that we didn't go in through anything like abuse or yeah. those are major things and I wouldn't know how to how we would respond to that. But yeah. we are just lucky in that sense that we don't have to. Okay. Yeah. And uh, on that note, um, I think that we're not going to continue the, <laughs> the episode. Um, this was good enough to express... Uh, I think we'll do the other scenarios another time because our boss um, wants us to <laughs> take a break. <laughs> Welcome to parenthood where you plan one thing and then yeah. your baby wants something else. So, no, he's been really good. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll end here. Two scenarios. I think there's one scenario left, but let's see if we can address that one later. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, we'll, we'll see if we'll come back with <laughs> More. Oh, oh! Before I go, we're introducing a new series, which is coming your way. We're trying to do the things that we used to do when we were together before Eli came, and one of them was travel. And even though our channel doesn't have a lot of travel content, we used to every now and then go somewhere and we'll film how it went and everything. So yeah, our new series is coming up. Travel with us. So look out for that one. Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Peace.